Hey, hey, we mow yo everywhere we go. Power phrase of the week, turn fail into fuel. Say that again, turn fail into fuel. We're talking about when things happen and you don't live up to the expectations that you had. Something happens and you weren't able to achieve exactly what you had hoped for. And most people consider that failure. But my challenge is to look at that differently. Your mindset being different. And instead of seeing that as failure, see that as just simply fuel to push you on to success. Yesterday, I talked about step one in turning fail into fuel. Step one was fine tune your focus. When something happens that blocks your path, when something happens and you don't meet up to the expectations you had, instead of focusing on that event as a failure and allowing it to plague you and continuing to affect your thought process, you fine tune your focus immediately and you refocus on what you can learn from that and how you can go forward in the future and find success. So don't let that event continue to affect you, continue to affect the way you look at things. You fine tune your focus. Today is step two. Step two is understand the event. Understand the situation. When something happens that blocks your pathway, when you don't eat, meet expectations, don't just accept it as a failure and give up, but understand what happened, what held you back, what changes you can make to make it a success. And today's bio story is of Colonel Harlan Sanders. You all know Kentucky Fried Chicken. Probably everybody's eating at Kentucky Fried Chicken. But Colonel Sanders was someone who lived a life that most people would consider one failure after another for his first 62 years. He failed at job after job. And part of the reason that he failed is because he had a terrible temper and he couldn't get along with people. He was a fireman at one point. He got relieved from that job because he got into a fight with another fireman. Then he took a job working for the city. Again, got into a fight with someone, got fired from that job. Then he took a correspondence course to practice law and started practicing law. Practiced law for three years, but then lost that job because he got into a fight with a client. Job after job, he could never keep for more than just a couple of years. And it was always due to something that had to do with his temper, or the way he reacted to people. But then he had this idea. He had a recipe that he thought was a great idea, a recipe for fried chicken. And he decided he was gonna to try to sell that recipe. He took the time to understand what had held him back for all those years. He took the time to understand that his inability to get along with people, to work with people, to compromise, to seek a common goal would hold him back. He just didn't have that ability. And he went to work on himself, trying to change that ability. He also understood that he had a great idea. He had an idea that would work and he believed in that idea. And he understood that no matter what it took, he was worried, he was wor willing to work as hard as he possibly could to make that come true. And so when he was 62 years of age, he took that recipe on the road and tried to sell it to people, to restaurants. He went to and pitched the idea to over a thousand restaurants. Some accounts say a thousand and six times he went to the restaurant's owner and was turned down. But he still understood he had a good product and he understood what the obstacle was and he had to keep working. And then finally, he met a man who owned a restaurant in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
And this man shared Colonel Sanders' enthusiasm and believed in his idea. And he sold the recipe franchise for his recipe of Kentucky Fried Chicken to this man in Salt Lake City, Utah. And within one year, that restaurant's business had increased by 75% because of this recipe. And the rest of the story you know. His franchises just started to spread everywhere. And we all know now what Kentucky Fried Chicken is and the success he's had and the impact he's had. All because he fine-tuned his focus and he took the time to understand what it was that was holding him back. And all those failures, those 1,006 people that turned him down, and all those jobs that he lost, he used that as fuel to push him further, to push him to success. And that's how you turn fail into fuel. And when we do that, we make the most of every opportunity. So think about that power phrase all week long. I will turn fail into fuel. And now let's mow you everywhere we go.